uh, on behalf of the board, um, we would we are delighted to have everyone here today. I know there's a, a lot of speeches, but you joining us as we take one step closer to realizing a dream, uh, our dream of having a permanent home for the theater center and having a fantastic new arts building in the city of Toronto. Is we realize today. This is a remarkable day, um, but this is just one of many remarkable days that we've had on a long journey, and we are still at the beginning. Um, in fact, the Theatre Centre's journey began long before Franco joined the, um, he didn't join the board, long before Franco became the Artistic and General Director, before either of us joined the board, it, it began 33 years and 10 locations ago in the history of the Theatre Centre. Uh, on, on, the, on the notes of thank yous, I also want to extend a hearty thank you and congratulations uh, to the Drake Hotel for hosting this event today. Big, big thank you to the staff who probably aren't generally this busy this early in the day. And I'd also like to extend uh, a really huge thank you to the Drake and to Jeff Stober in particular for their support. They're supporting this project as well. So thank you very much. At the Theater Center, we tell stories. And some of these stories are in development by our resident companies. And I see many faces from our resident companies here today. Um, some of these Stories are told through music and dance and visual arts and, and not just words. And sometimes an artist will start with one, start thinking they're telling one story and they end up telling something entirely different. And that's okay. That's even good because for us, it's about the journey. It's about not necessarily knowing where you're going to end up when you start. I mean, the, who would have dreamt 33 years ago that we'd be here today? Uh, our, our new home at uh, 115 Queen Street West, where we just were, uh, is going to allow the Theatre Centre to continue to support developing, uh, developing new work, support emerging and established artists. Um, we'll continue to provide facilities, funding, mentorship um, and a real sense of community uh, in this in this neighborhood and will continue to allow the new work that Gail was talking about to be explored created and uh, hopefully seen by many of you we will return a magnificent historic building to the public we will provide an innovative space for artistic creativity to flourish we will help balance the gentrification of the West Queen West neighborhood and we will protect an area of the city that is recognized as being home to one of the largest art artist populations in the country. You've heard a, a little bit of talk about money today. Um, I just wanted to bring home a few, a few notes here. The Theatre Centre has already raised 84% of its capital campaign goal. And, and that's been done with all three levels of government, which to me is just unbelievable. The support we've had and the work that's gone into it on behalf uh, from a lot of volunteers, but all three levels of government were here today and they need to be thanked because they've done a lot already. In, in addition to government, um, I don't think we'd be here today had it not been for the support of the Metcalf Foundation. Um, their early belief in the Theatre Centre and their investments have transformed what the Theatre Centre is becoming. Um, and we are absolutely delighted today to have Sandy Houston from the Metcalf Foundation here. Um, and we'd like to have Sandy come up and say a few words. Thank you. Um, this is just a really happy day. I, I work for a 
foundation that's profoundly interested in the health of the small and mid-sized art sector. And that's a lovely job to have. You know, much of what I do and Michael Jones does, who's here today, is we meet with passionate, visionary, tenacious people who are doing remarkable things. They're coming to us because they want to do many more remarkable things and they need some support to make that happen. And we've known the Theater Center for a long time and we've known Franco for a long time. Um, and, you know, Franco and his partners and crew and collaborators have done something really remarkable. They, they have a compelling vision. They got others to share that compelling vision. And then they managed to find the support and the means and the mechanism to achieve that vision. And that's an extraordinary thing and something to celebrate, and we're celebrating that today. Um, Metcalf's contribution is that because we're, we're a private foundation and we're nimble and frankly you know, answerable to no one except a very brave board of directors, we like to support things right at the beginning. So if somebody comes to us you know, and they have a dream or a vision of something that's compelling, um, we, are, we like to support that early, and we think that's critically important. It's at the very, very early stages that a little bit of support, I think, can tip things from a lovely idea into something that has the momentum and the confidence and the resilience to become something much bigger. So in the case of the Theatre Centre, I mean, that's what we did very early on. We, we gave a little bit of money to support the architectural renderings that made the whole idea of the theater center taking on this building a little more feasible and a little more realistic. Um, and the other thing that we do that we think is equally crucial is we think that if people are going to achieve complicated, ambitious, wonderful projects, they need some people and some resources and some money under them to give them the incredibly precious time to think, to plan, to manage, and to master complicated undertakings. So that's what we've done recently, is we've been investing in the theater centers, you know, wrapping their arms around this thing and leading it to the place it is now. Um, and as a funder, I can only say how deeply gratifying it is and how, how absolutely exhilarating it is to see somebody take something like that and realize it in the way that the theater center has managed to realize it today. So I just, I say congratulations on behalf of our board particularly Bob Sermon, one of our board members who has supported this project uh, for a number of years, thoroughly and deeply. And I just want to salute the achievements of, of Franco and his team. And, you know, it's been an extraordinary accomplishment to date, but it's really looking forward to the next chapter of the Theatre Centre and its role as an incubator and innovator in Toronto that we can all look forward to. So congratulations. Oh, this is, we were delighted to have representatives from every, no. <laughs> Not going there again. Um, I just want to say uh, a few words about the George Metro Metcalf Foundation and Sandy, uh, Sandy's leadership there. For me, has been a true and remarkable gift for the City of Toronto. The impact of the Strategic Initiatives Program has transformed the health of the arts community here, and by extension, I think, the country. I can't thank you enough. You mentioned the early investment of the $25,000 uh, towards the concept drawings and design feasibility study undertaken by Philip Goldsmith. Philip is here. It was critical for achieving credibility at City Hall, and it eventually led to the release of $1 million for the retrofit of the Carnegie Library. And we have a great story to share. Without compromising our commitment to artistic excellence and risk, the Theatre Centre is operating without a deficit and is debt-free, and our donor database <laughs> is small, and we did not have a culture of philanthropy until now. Um, but we were told many times, I think, that we couldn't do this, that we were reaching a bit too far, and we weren't, we weren't supposed to be able to do this, but here we are. Um, so the Theatre Centre Capital Campaign has raised 5.2, we're 84 percent, as Kevin said. Uh, this includes significant contributions from the Government of Ontario, the Ontario Trillium Foundation, the Government of Canada's, Canada's Cultural Spaces Fund. And I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge, um, for me, our dear friend Jenny Jinder, who has provided enormous leadership with this campaign.
we've, within 60 days of the beginning of our private sector campaign, every board member, um, every board of directors made a campaign pledge liter literally five times more than what I thought they would, <laughs> would do and capable of and to, I mean, you know, they're a team. They're my team and, our, and, and my family. Um, and so I want to thank them. Um, today I'm delighted um, to announce three remarkable gifts of $100,000 or more from, uh, to our campaign. And first, we're delighted to announce that the local West Queen West developer, um, Urban Core, under the leadership of, pres of its president, Alan Saskin, has, has given $100,000. in this community uh, to support this project and made the gift last August. Second, um, we are thrilled to announce that uh, through a truly innovative long-term partnership with today's, uh, to, here at the Drake, <laughs> um, he, at the Drake Hotel and, and, and particularly Jeff Stober, who's mentioned, um, who's pledged also $100,000 towards the campaign. inside our permanent new home will be named the Drake Stairway. But the most exciting for me, the most exciting part of this partnership for me um, is the Drake Fellowship Program, um, which is um, which is a program between the Drake Hotel and the Theatre Centre. And our first Drake Fellows are here today, um, Zoe Sweet and Christina Aziz. Then today's final announcement represents the first time, <laughs> the first time in our organization's 33 history that we've received a significant financial support from one of Canada's major banks. It gives me tremendous pride to announce a gift of 100,000 over three, the next three years from TD Financial Group to name the TD Green Roof. So now something that I, I um, the Theatre Centre is guided by our social conscience, our political fire, our commitment to this community, our pledge to develop good ideas, our promise to produce work, rigorous work, and finally our deep love of the artist and the creative process. In any community, leadership is more truthfully expressed when it is given than when it is declared. For over 33 years, Toronto's performing arts community has very quietly bestowed the Theatre Centre with this great honour. It's our time to tell our story widely and publicly. And thank you so much for being here. Yeah.